I can do way. some work? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I make, never do that. Make you look good. <laughs> I, I heard you coming. I put on <laughs> knee pads get... and put some dirt on me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the three of us love the look of stone and started to collect some of our local stone for use in walkways, garden beds, and walls. But knowing there's an art to laying stone, we reached out to Dave O'Brien, a well-known stonemason in the area, to see how he manages to create works of art using his gift in stone masonry. So Dave, can you tell me what you're working on right here? This flagstone's going to continue right out and do this whole patio, and we're going to just keep it streaking out like it, the, the stone down at the falls yeah. are all kind of, when you can see them, they're kind of patterned that way. Yeah. And so we're trying to continue that look down through. And the walls are supposed to look like the side walls on the falls. Right, so, the, so. they have like these striations and layers. Yeah, and so what we do is we first put a, a mix. A lot of people just wet the floor, but I mix a Portland and water mix, mm -hmm. and it helps bond everything. And then we put down our mortar mix and then paste the back side of the stone with the same paste and pound them down. And no. then are these uh, stones already pre-cut? These were all from the quarry this okay. way. So this, you usually you get two footers and three footers wide also, but we wanted to just keep it the narrow ones going mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And usually we try to break the bonds between the, the stone, but with this, we wanted to keep the straight lines going. I going think through. with the the color of the stones too, you see this like natural uh, different, you know, a variation of colors. Right. In here, it, so. There'll be a huge variation once it's washed. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And how long did you, when did you start this? Just earlier today? Or? We started this morning. Okay. So we had brought the stone down yesterday, and uh, started laying. And this is Tony. Hi, Tony. You met Tony. Tony's been with me for 10 years. Wow. And Matt started this year with hey, us. Hey, Matt. So. You're, the, you're yeah. the newbie, huh? Yep. <laughs> he gets all the bad jobs. Yeah, he, well, that, that's your hazing, essentially. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. That, that mallet is like my favorite tool I've never used. <laughs> it hey, is. This is your I was gonna say, go, go to it. Like I watch a show where they always put a paving and hardscaping, and they use that little rubber mallet, and I'm yep. like, oh my god, that's my favorite. <laughs> I've never used it in my life. Tony, get the next stone ready for. Her. <laughs> All right. Well, as so. you're laying them, you're kind of like, uh, I mean, the floor is probably level, right? So the, there's the, probably not much level. Of the them. concrete guy yeah. does a beautiful job, but you can see all the different thicknesses of the stone. Yeah. So we got to try to guess how much mortar to put down and get it all. So we don't have to pound too much. Yeah. But so. you're not just laying this. You actually had already started on the, the walls. Yep. Right? So this is uh, where we started. <laughs> and uh, we had a foundation that we started off of, and then we laid block on top of the foundation, then we put stone on either side of the, of the block we laid. And, and this, these two are flower baskets. Oh, that's cool. And uh, he's not gonna get much sunlight down here, but <laughs> you can it's grow, a, Like your brother's hostas. The hostas. You can grow the hostas. Right, <laughs> right. So I did a stone shed for him and did flower baskets under all the windows. Yeah. And so he wanted to kind of replicate that and do that. And, and then all the stone stepping out, again, supposed to match. And also this construction, the architect is going, the same architect that was done at Lynn Hall mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. in Falling Waters mm -hmm. uh, and by Frank Lloyd Wright. So they're trying to like so, recreate that. Yeah, because a... the, the owner of the house, his grandfather actually worked on, designed and built uh, Lynn Hall. That's amazing. And then, so they call this a prairie style with the flat roofs and stuff. And are you so, using a, a similar wait. stone to that or is it different? It's a four inch wide cut stone we get from the quarry. Is it still like a blue flagstone? Yeah, or? yeah. You can see they're all, these here are the ones that we stick out oh, are yeah. six inches wide. And then the four inch wide ones are what we lay on the walls. 
I mean, to me, this is just like, it looks like a huge puzzle piece. So how do you even like go about you, you, starting? You lay one and then you try to get, if I'm laying this one, yeah. then I try to get to the same thickness to come up. Got it. So then I can come across because I don't want to keep joints going straight. Right. So my next one wants to come across a flat and then right, go on. Right, because you don't want this all the way up. That's right. going to look uh, right. you know, yep. strange. Yep. We, yeah, we, we'll do maybe, you know, one more if every now and then, but we try to tie in as much as we can all the time. But then you'd get something like this thickness and maybe do like two or three of Two or three or, or, you know, one. Yeah. And then a, a four inch and go like that, just like, like we did. How long have you been stone laying? I started laboring in 81 and uh, worked for a guy for a couple years and then I went to an apprentice class at night and uh, that guy hired me to go work for his company and uh, so started laying with him and that I started in the fall and the spring he had me laying brick and by the end of the summer I was a foreman on a job doing chimneys mostly and it was mostly brick then he taught me a lot of stone too. And he was an old Italian guy, so. Well, there's a lot of history of stone making in stone masonry here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ithaca's a lot of stone masons. I've been here for 15 years, so a lot of people mention, oh, you must know this guy, and I don't know a lot of them, but, you know, the, the ones that were around. But well, should we take a look uh, upstairs? Sure. Is that possible? Yeah. Can we see your hands after 15 <laughs> years of laying stone? This is what your hands look like. <laughs> Come on, crazy. he gets the manicure every week. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it. So it's supposed to look out once you once we go. It's supposed to look like just a like a. Team is full. Yeah. Going straight through. So there's going to be windows here. So it's supposed to look inside, outside, like the downstairs. And uh, we got some shelves for books. It's exquisite. I love the so, I love the built-in shelves and like yeah. thinking about it just as like a just as a wall, but as something that's functional, the same way that you had the, the planters down below. Right, yeah, and then some of these stone that we mixed in, that was a stone out of, uh, in, in Pennsylvania, and I'm not sure exactly where that one's from. Yeah. But this one, the brownstone, this, uh, the sandstone, I'm yeah. sorry, is from Lynn Hall. They oh, actually wow. took it from Lynn Hall. Wow. So, and then these are some cobblestone, Hey, Craig. <laughs> and uh, I got another cobblestone here yeah. from the streets of Pittsburgh. So. So there's a lot of history in this wall already. Yeah. Yeah. He likes to. The guy loves his stone. Yeah. Which is nice for me. Yeah. So. Tell me about a project like this. What it means to you? I'm assuming you get some some boring projects, and then you get some like really amazing ones like this. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's fun, and I'm friends with Jack, yeah. and so he has parties, and a lot of our friends come together, and they all say it looks great, and it makes you feel good. So, yeah. So. Do you have a lot of stonework in your own home? Yes. You do. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have an outdoor fireplace and a patio, and. A lot of stone walls. Yeah. So you'll have to see sometime. Oh my God, I would so, love to. We'd love yeah. to. And I love how this just extends out. Yep. Is there going to be stone below here? Or is it just going to be pure window and like the, this? This, stone? this is all window. And just the, pure and window. The, and, and then you'll just see the. Uh oh. Up. Then you'll just see the patio. Patio. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Exquisite. So yeah, there's no more stone inside except for there's going to be a little wall upstairs. Okay. Well, let's. So. I, 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 I'd love to see this because I just want to see how it's oh. affixed, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you have like the cement blocks, right? So I have the cement block and then they have, they actually have heating tubes going through this. And so we have the insulation and then the heating tubes. This is Craig Manning. Hi, Craig. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. He's the man in charge. He's the one who knows everything. Hi, Mr. Know-it-all. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is a little blurry here because it's a little different. 
yeah. more engineering than sometimes. Yeah, yeah. over engineered yeah. is what you're saying. Right. Well, I built timber frames, which are extremely over engineered typically. Yeah. And, but this, you know, these beams. Well, it's, it's not even finished yet, but it looks exquisite already. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to build a house like this takes a team of guys, and everybody's got a kick. That's yeah. all it is. And yeah. you got to have the right owner, the right architect, the right builder. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's, it's hard sometimes to line that up, especially oh. now because everybody's looking to build and do things. Yeah. When, when somebody approaches you with an idea like this, it, do you, when you said you went to Lynn Hall, do you do your re research and say, okay, how do I take what I already know and morph that into this modern day uh, appreciation uh, for it? Absolutely. Or do you just kind of I like, mean, yeah. no, we were, we were looking at the stone and yeah. seeing what they did and seeing what he likes, the homeowner, what's done there right. and how to right. try to match everything up. And then the, the, the thing was trying to find the right stone. stone. Yeah. Well, it, well, it's you know. good because we have a lot of local stone here, right? right. We have yeah. quarries. Yeah. There's some places where you can't find that stone. So, yeah. right. you know, I, I'm imagining that um, wherever you go, they're probably sourcing somewhat locally. And if not right. here in New York, maybe in Pennsylvania. Well, that's, that's like in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I believe they got the sandstone right out of the bank up there or something. So yeah. that was close by. And so that's why, you know, the... And, but we figured it wasn't worth bringing something like that into here because it doesn't really match the environment here. Right. Right. So. Between the two red pieces is a 10 foot door. So it opens a five foot opening. So we got a walkway that comes out to somewhere in here. <laughs> then we make a full deck out here. It's exquisite. So is this deck going to be wood deck or? It's a composite deck. It's a composite deck, okay. Yep. Best stuff on the market. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing to be up here with the birds and the... No, it it really feels the, the hawk and the, the crow were chasing each in? other the other uh, yesterday oh also they were out here. I hear a so. Phoebe and I don't know where it's calling from. But it's it's somewhere up here. It just you just I don't know what a Phoebe is. <laughs> What's a Phoebe? Up oh, there Phoebe. it is. There it is. It's just, you know, yeah. So you yeah, know. it has a little I, tail. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. You see the little tail? <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe, yeah. that's me. Huh. I'm kind of like that. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> <laughs> they um they they catch insects. So. Huh. Cool. Like a martin. Yeah. Like a martin. Yeah. yeah. So clear corner of the house. Another you know, neat feature, that's going to be the master bedroom, the corner glass, glass door. Yeah, all of this is glass. glass. around the corner. Just The only thing yeah. I worry about glass is the bird Birds strikes. flying into them. Yeah. 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 That's a, yeah. So, so, so you got you to gotta talk to the glass fabricators and get some bird-friendly glass. Yeah. You got to talk soft to stuff? Jack. No, I don't know. No, somebody's <laughs> already told me They bounce off. They're like, <laughs> yeah, it's like bumpers. Uh, no, it has like a UV, uh, UV on it that when the sun hits it and it's darker on the inside, gotcha. it actually h hits off this UV that the birds see and they're like kind of UV stripes that you oh. technically don't see. Right. Oh. So the stone is basically continuing from the ground all, all the way, way up. All yeah, the way actu up. actually when I built it, we, ha we didn't have this deck yet. So we yeah. had to set up scaffolding from ground up and... It's up there. It, it felt felt high before. Oh my God, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm like, I hate heights. <laughs> so even here, I'm just like, yeah. I don't know if I really want to be on the edge. So I, I'm with so. you, especially when you're kind of dangling on yeah. scaffolding. <laughs> yeah, and then how do you, I mean, how do you even move those stones on the way up? Because... Well, luckily we got the forklift on the okay. job. So they, they would pick them up into the window here and then we'd stack them and then carry them out right. onto the scaffolding. Right. And it was nice because the scaffolding came right over to the floor. So you just brought them in. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this. Is this, this isn't the most precarious situation that you've been in when it comes to stone. Chimneys are the... Chimneys. Yeah, if you okay. get on some hairy chimneys, <laughs> you, you don't want to be up on top of them. Yeah. I'm starting to turn them down because I just... Yeah. Mm, getting too old. Yeah. So I'm imagining so. though with like your quality of work you could be a little bit more selective in what yes, you do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the last couple of years. Yeah. It's been crazy. 
Hard to uh, come by, yeah. How do you make sure that, you know, you get a palette of stones, you have no really idea what it looks like. How do you make sure you get an even look across your wall? Well, that's the creation. Uh, <laughs> stone, yeah. No, it, it takes a stone mason. It, it takes a stone mason. <laughs> it just, you, you, you see the palette and you just seem to know how, the, how they're going to go and okay. yourself. I mean, and it, it's funny because you, you'll get a, pallet, a pile of stone like that right. and you try to tell the homeowner, oh no, it'll look good up. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So we got a little more stone going over here. I don't know if you can. You can get there from the roof or stuff. <laughs> but. This wall here is going to try to make this come looking through the glass like it comes through. This, right? this, this one yeah. right on the here. Inside. Just on the inside here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So right where you, and then here. there's going to be a window yeah. right yeah. there where you are looking and out. And this glass just comes right onto this plane. Yeah. All stone. Say you have heating inside of the stone? Down just in the, the office. Floor. Oh, just on the first floor. Yep. Just in the inside stuff. Yeah, right. You haven't so. any weight. <laughs> just, just, you know, uh, just like the radiant floor, just right. radiant yeah. wall. Is, are there going to be stone floors? No, just, well? the, just the one downstairs. Okay. And there's radiant heating under those. Oh my goodness. Down in the basement. So. Are stones yeah. technically a good conductor oh, of heat? Oh, uh, once you get them warm, yeah. Then they. It's kind know. of like when you're in the like the sauna outside, right? Or right. The, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you heat up so, the stones. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so, so neat to see it like come together, like just yeah. The, here you can see we have because uh, downstairs I only have six inch block because the insulation in the pipe. Yeah. But here I have ten inch block and then four inches, well five inches of stone on each side. And then so as as you lay inches. them, I mean this might be a, a little a, a dumb question because it's it's so not my trade. But as you're laying them, they're they're quite flat to begin with. But do you are you meticulous in in uh, making sure that those first levels of stone are parallel we we try to level every single stone as we lay them okay but the stone aren't perfect so you'll see that some stone are off and yeah. stuff because you lay a stone underneath yeah. and it, it, it gets like thinner to thicker and right. stuff but then you try to get it level as you go so you have to so. you have to make amends with like thinner stones or cement or what are you trying to make amends with, with when this you're... you can do it with the mortar oh the mortar so okay. yeah yeah, but you know, sometimes you use a thinner stone or whatever. So yeah. you'll see some places where we try to build up and you can't get perfectly there, so yeah. you use a thin one to catch it. Um, you know, when you're looking at it, I mean, what bothers me when I'm all done and I take down the scaffolding and I look and I see a stone out of level, it bothers me, you know, <laughs> but you know. That's the perfection. So, so I, I yeah. yelled Tony, hey, what did you lay that one for? <laughs> he goes, I think you were over there. I'm like, no, 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 no. See, that's, that's just like one of the many benefits of having a mentee to right. you know, yeah. work with you. That's right. to blame them. Yep. Oh. <laughs> when you go to back down... When you go back downstairs, ask Tony if I ever blame him for anything, because <laughs> it's constant. The poor guy, it's, it's all the time. I just blame Tony. Well, let's yes. talk about the importance of having that mentor, because it seems like, you know, stonemasonry, and you had just said that it's, it's you know, they're hard, stonemasons are hard to come by. You know, how do you... It's hard you, nowadays, because nobody wants to do it. No one wants to do... It's, it's going to be a dying art. It's yeah. a sad thing. I am so lucky right now with the two guys I have. Yeah. I mean, I'd be lost. And did they find you or did you find uh, them? Well, Tony's dad was actually working on a job putting floors in and Tony was helping him drop out of high school, mm -hmm. 17 years old. And uh, his dad asked if I was willing to hire him. And I was apprehensive at first, but I did. And uh, I mean, he's, he's wonderful. Yeah. He, you know, I mean, I dealt with from a 17 year old kid, so it's been fun. People don't want to do this kind of work. It's yeah. just, I mean, if, you know, especially now, I feel because you get the, the, um, I mean, when you start someone out, you don't want to pay them an enormous amount. Yeah. And now with minimum wage up to 15 or closer, everyone paying 15 mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, it's hard to hire someone at 15. Yeah. Because you why would they come? Them. Right. Yeah. And you don't know what you're getting, so you don't know, you know, you don't want to pay, hey, I'll pay you 20 to start. Yeah, you know? it almost like so. doesn't uh, compute because what you're describing is an apprenticeship. 
and apprenticeships are usually over a, a skill base that are usually over a long periods of time. So when I think of like carpentry apprenticeships or whatever, you go through these stages and it could be multi years, you know? Well, I told Tony you should be paying school dues, you know, to yeah, learn. Almost and that, like a vocational. Right. Yeah, and that, and, that, and then he's lifting Ooh, all these the phone and yeah. stuff. So no, no the, gym the, membership. The, right. So he pays me the gym <laughs> fees and then the tanning so salon. Many people, we're so working many, out in the sun. He gets a nice tan. He doesn't have to pay for He does so, so well on by Tinder. The <laughs> end of the week, end of the week, he owes me every week. <laughs> just an, an incredible like you know we call them portfolio pieces in the digital art world but like my goodness this is just it's it's in the physical and it's something that you could one more story we'd be seeing the lake i keep telling you no, go up on the <laughs> it's just so amazing that you could you yeah. you're across from a squirrel's dray it's yeah. really <laughs> And, and to see yeah. the trees from up this way, I mean, yeah, it's just like so this, It looks like a little... Right yeah. Yeah. It's 70 or 80 feet. Yeah. It's, it's exquisite. It really is a work of art. And then, and then no stone work up here? No stone. Okay. No. Just the only other stone is on the front down here. Okay. So we got stone going in this area. Okay, so, so up to this Up, porch? all the way up to the oh. second overhang. Not oh, this okay. first one, the second one. So. And you just started so. laying it here, or? I, I just put some sixes that I had extra. Okay. And so laid it there. The, my, my uh, stone shelf is a little small here. Yeah. The concrete shelf. So I nailed this two by four on just to give me a little bit when I lay the first one. Yeah. And then I'm gonna lay a six to start, and then I'll go back with the fours because the plywood's out and And how, how long would something like this actually take? Oh, two weeks. Two, two weeks and a half. with two, two other folks. Me and Tony. Yeah, Tony, me and Matt. Tony, okay, yeah. Yep. Wow. So, <laughs> yep. so we'll set the scaffolding up and then start laying. Amazing. So you can come out and Check it out. Oh yeah, definitely we'll get so, some of that process for sure. Yeah. That's great. Then you'll see how we lay the stone. And, yeah, I'd love yeah, to so see it. I just love we'll to see get, it. We'll get but you a little trough. these stones, like, are you afraid at some point that the wall is gonna fall it, over? It's all tied in with metal wall ties. Okay. Yeah, no. So oh. what, what I do is I screw in wherever there's a stud yeah. and I put massive wall ties. And then I, when I lay the stone, you just flip them down onto the stone and they catch on top of the stone and in the mud and holds everything right. together. So it's basically an anchor that comes out, it yep. sits in, the, in between the stones. Yep. It holds it yep. So do you have to drill in the stone beforehand? No, in order to no, anchor it just, no, it's, it's in the mortar joint. Oh, it goes between them, yep. okay. Yep, so Got the it. mortar holds them. Got it. And then the weight, so. like, do you have to do anything different to the foundation in order to support the weight of all the stone that you're gonna put on they, they, you know, they, the stone, stone you, you know, that's why the stone ledge is poured here. And, Yep. Over here, you know, he's got rotted. <laughs> so this is this is the yeah. Uh, yeah. When when they poured those those. It's a little different with Lego So you can't so you can't like really, you know, reverse en or engineer like if you had a house and then you're like oh let's put a stone face on it you'd have to have that stone yeah, have to have ledge footing. and So up. I've done I did a brick house a ranch, where I actually dug down every eight feet and put like a concrete tube in, and then I put an angle iron across it, and then bolted the angle iron to the house and did a whole brick house yeah. that way. So, because the person really wanted a brick house and couldn't afford it when he built it, and yeah. they didn't put any, but you could dig around the whole thing and put concrete the whole way and tie it in, but I felt like that was going to be too much. Yeah, so it's almost better thinking done. about it from from square one. Absolutely. Whenever you think you might want stone, even if you don't yeah. use it ever, you know, if you're building a block chimney and you're thinking maybe someday I can stone veneer it or something, yeah. always pour your concrete a little bit extra so you have enough just in case you want to just leave it below grade and then you just scrape it off and yep. lay your stone. Very smart. So. And then the walkway is going to go between these trees, though? Yep. Yeah, yeah. we're supposed to come up, you know, the, the idea <laughs> from the architect is so funny. 
by the little tree there, you know, then it, this stone wall is actually framed between the two big oaks. Hmm. And then on each side, you know, you'll have some composite metal siding framed by the stone wall. Then it curves around here, you come into here. Obviously, we tried to get the door so you saw the falls. Mm -hmm. I told Jack in the beginning, if I get it right, when they come to the front door for the first time, they're just going to push you out of the way. <laughs> Jack, oh my God, walk right to the back window and go, you know, and that's what I'm hoping will happen. <laughs> so as you come, you want unsightly, but as you first get a taste of it, you don't know how deep it is. Yeah. You know, you're driving. Yeah, because you only path. see the top of the right. falls. <laughs> You, you can see a rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Oh, or yeah, maybe not. Day. Maybe, yeah, every, every day. day. Wow. To, so it must be 2.30 to 3.30. Yeah. We don't know if it's a rainbow or a false bow yeah. or what it is. <laughs> I don't know. You know, but whatever it is, it's something. Yeah. It happens every day. In the winter, it's an hourly changing entity. Yeah. It is almost in, so incredible in the winter. And what is this fall's name? Do you do you know? Uh, Emil Jones. Emil Jones Fall? Emil Jones. Falls. Okay. It's uh, E M I L E J O N A S. Okay. But there's thousands of pictures on the internet. Yeah. Thousands. Every day. I've been here almost a year, maybe five days, people can come. People ice climbed it in the winter. Oh my God. People do crazy things around here. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, and once our deck goes out here, we go out yet another 10 feet, one more steel beam, we put the south by the white pipe. I mean, this is getting a little precariously close to the uh, edge here with yeah, erosion. Wait, wait out, then yeah, when we get out, out on yeah. that very tip. Yeah. I mean, especially with some of these trees skylight, you know? being cut down, yeah. you know? Like, that's your, that's what's holding the, those roots are, are what's holding the soil together. Well, uh, we got concrete. Yeah. Plants, maybe 100 to 150 last year. And and we're going to plant more because Jack's concerned, you know, we don't want to take over the gorge. That's right. Maybe the best thing we want to keep natural. So right. We got a guy here locally, uh, Dan, I can't remember his company now, but anyway, providing us with all these natural plants. To Good. We, uh, because with the stump, you know, we have about four years till we have possible. I think the engineer called it sloughing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, sounds scary. <laughs> It looks great. I mean, this is exquisite. I, I, I am just blown away by the scale of this. Falling water features in here. If you ever go on to the falling waters, you look inside in the great room, heading towards the dining room. If you could see that ceiling, we're going to recreate that light space in here over the dining room, which will have like a colored glass rim and an etched glass middle. This is how good the Davis Payne told me. <laughs> So Dave's looking for a stone for his side. Yeah. Tony tells him, well, I don't got one, I don't got one. So he had this one with the rainbow, sandbagged yeah. it until he could use it on his side of the <laughs> That's kind of the way it goes. This one's glittered up. Boy, yeah, I love the ar It's like mica or something yeah. in there. It's awesome. Oh, they already made some headway while you were uh, doing your uh, cameo I, I told you, I don't do anything. They do all the work. <laughs> This is only because I want to use the rubber mallet. Yep. <laughs> Matt, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. We don't give up Matt that easy. <laughs> Who are we going to make fun of? <laughs> Tony? <laughs> Tony earned his hazing credits. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So I'll show you a new tool I got. Oh, yeah. New tool I got. These things are great. It They're called like grabos. Center. Oh, but it grabs okay. the stone. Okay. Oh you God. push down, suction. Then you can pick that right up. Wow. How is it? Go ahead. How is it sucking? <laughs> Put it right in place. Right. Beautiful. Right yeah. There. Yep. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then. Just turn it off. You hit that red button. Oh my god! And that takes it off. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> when did this get invented? I don't know. I just found them. Oh they god. they have them for windows and stuff. Oh wait, I have this one. Is okay. This one okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's Tony's. It doesn't work as fast. Oh really? 
Man, Tony, it's tough working here. <laughs> I so told I just, you. So then I just like knock it down. Yeah, but I think I have too much mud still. Oh, so should we take it out again? Let's so. do it right. You're gonna make me look bad. <laughs> I, I know. I'm like, see this like that one stone that she laid is the one I stuff my toe on all the time. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to hit that. Hit it. This is where you get like real. <laughs> <laughs> real <laughs> she doesn't like me, does she? This is where you get real anger out, huh? There you go. But see, there's a little. I, little... I, it still might be too thick right yeah. here. Yeah. Not going to go, Tony. Yeah. This is embarrassing. Cut this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to get a, a, a thinner stone. Yep. Let's see, let's see what we got. The here. only reason I did that was to show you what we have to go through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got we got a nice selection of them here, though. Look, there's all all this one's thick, this one's like medium, and that one's thin. Yep. So should we go with the medium one, or what do you think? Let's go with the thin one. Thin then you can one. pound it down easier. Really it. Yep. Actually, that one's prettier. That's huh? pretty. Yeah. Color. Yep. Ooh, look at that one. Though. Oh, that's even better. Yep. <laughs> oh, but that's pretty thick. Yeah, that's thick. I think the, yep. I don't know, this middle one's kind of like, kind of got the Goldilocks. That one's thick. You want to do the middle one? No. That one's too thick. We won't remember that one. This one's about the same size as this middle one. Yeah, I was looking for one where we'd remember it was yours. Oh, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not, not. I'm not that precious. Oh, that one's yeah, good. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Ooh, look at Ooh, that side. That's really pretty. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. And so wetting it on the bottom allows it to. It go just on. if you uh, lay the stone. Yeah. Nice and dry. Yeah. Then it doesn't bond as well. Okay. To the mortar. So you want it. To at least wet the stone yeah. a little bit. Now, what I do is I take Portland cement and add it to it, to the water, make a paste, and it works great as a glue. I love this because it gives the stone a handle yep. to work with. So and good. you don't have to put your fingers down in the yeah. mud. If it's a really big stone, did you ever like use two of them? Yeah. Oh, wow. We That's got the cool. other one someplace. <laughs> so go ahead. You're gonna. All right. Dump. Oh, should I suck? Yeah, it? might as well, right? Okay. So green. Yeah, first, right. you gotta. You... Oh, turn hit that the switch. on. Okay. Is it running battery? And you gotta push down a little okay. bit, and you can see when the gauge goes to the green. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. And then. You can leave it running. Okay. Try to get the yep, nice tight joint. Beautiful. Should be tighter or no? No. Nope. And then I can turn yep. this off. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I was about to put that in the mortar. That would be stupid of me. Now you kind of want to hold your stone as you're pounding oh, okay. it, just so it doesn't bounce all over. There you go. And then, okay, watch, watch, watch. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, See, yeah. you're going too low here. Oh yeah. All right, but it, it'll be good when you hit that side. You'll okay. get it over there. So like that. Yep. And then how do you fill the rest of this in? Do you like with a, ah, oh, that's, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, we, once, when you come back and see all these joints are gonna be nice and smooth. See how this one is pretty smooth here? That's pretty good. Yeah, so once we smooth it off, we clean it up. So then, uh, Okay, so you're a little, yeah, little high on this high, side, yeah. but watch you don't hit too much on this side. Okay. Yep. What about in the middle here? Do I need to? Go, go ahead. There you go. You got it. That's good. That's good. Yeah? I think you're pretty close, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lay across. This is, this is where the truth will be told. Yep. So this side's high. Yeah. So then so we want to bring that side down some. Down. Yep. OK. And see how it picked yeah, that side up here. a little? Oh my goodness. It's kind of like a. <laughs> This takes a long time. Tony beat you. And he started like halfway after you. I know. Good thing, Tony. 
Yeah. You so have lost your a, job. That's a 10 years. 10 years gives you <laughs> perfection. So, and then what we do is we just take going this way, make sure we get it straight. So we got to pull that out just a yeah. little. The stone aren't perfect, so when you look down the joints, it'll be wider and skinnier and yeah. stuff. But as long as we keep a straight edge, we're good. That's beautiful. You so. fulfilled my adult fantasy of using a mallet. Fulfilled? Yeah. I thought you were coming back tomorrow. <laughs> we still got all this to like. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much for all letting right. us uh, come in on your work site. No problem. Yeah. It was fun having you. Yeah, this is so. good.